This is a demonstration of the reaction between magnesium powder and steam. It is a reaction that has relevance at GCSE in terms of the reactivity series of metals and also at A level when looking at the properties of group two elements. Magnesium powder reacts slowly with cold water and a little quicker with warm water or hot water. But to see the reaction effectively, steam needs to be passed over some heated magnesium. A boiling tube is used. The steam is created by soaking the uh, glass wool that is seen at the bottom there in water and then placed at the end of the, the tube. The glass wool is placed at the end of the tube. Of course, not cotton wool, because of course we're going to heat the tube. And then the tube is inverted while we soak the water, soak the cotton wool with some of the water. It is best to have the glass wall completely soaked with water but with no spare water which can run onto the magnesium. That seems to be about the right amount. There doesn't seem to be any residual water present. I then place some of the magnesium into the tube. I'll place it roughly halfway along. That's a little bit more. This magnesium is in the form of magnesium powder. So it's a high surface area and therefore should interact quite nicely. There is the magnesium. I'll place the delivery tube back onto the boiling tube and we'll heat this combination. So first of all, I'm going to heat the magnesium. that some of the magnesium might start to spark a little as it reacts with oxygen in the air. So I'll continue to, to heat until I see some of that sparking. And then as soon as I feel that the magnesium is hot enough, I will move the Bunsen down to the other end and start to vaporize some of the water. And as I vaporize the water, a chemical reaction occurs. There it goes. And to show that the product is hydrogen that is being formed, I can light it at that end. And as I increase the production of the steam that's passing over the magnesium, you can see that I can make the flame of the burning hydrogen either a little bigger or a little bit smaller. Where the hydrogen is burning, you can also see some of the steam uh, being uh, condense there into water because it's obviously cooler along here. And again I can make the flame a little bit larger. So here is the hydrogen gas which is burning and here the magnesium is being converted without heating from magnesium to magnesium oxide. The white powder that you can see inside the boiling tube is magnesium oxide. Eventually the reaction will subside although when I heat the water, you can still see a little bit of a flame. And finally, the reaction has probably finished. You will see that the boiling tube may have um, slightly uh, changed shape where the very hot magnesium um, has, has reacted and has slightly melted the tube.